Hello everybody. I have not made a video in a very long time, so this is going to be a little weird. Uh, but, I went out to my porch and I saw that I got this bad boy right here. I ordered him well over a year ago. I'm also waiting for Black Widow, who should be coming within the next few months. I ordered her the night that I came home from watching Endgame as well as Captain America, but he doesn't come out to the end of the year. Um, or next year, I think end of the year. But, I am super excited for this. He's going to go right up here with all of his friends, probably between the Megazord and Iron Man. So, let's take a look at the box first. We have, we have this little logo right here, which is cool. Uh, the whole thing is kind of foggy, but it's got that rainbow effect. Oh, I guess this is more metallic. A little bit of the rainbow effect here. The rainbow effect's on here and on this logo. Um, not much going on on the side. A whole bunch of legalese and stuff. So if you want to read it, if you really want to read it. If that actually decides it wants to focus, you would be able to read, pause and read it. There we go. But um, I'm not going to read it. This side is pretty much the same. Big old Ant-Man and the Wasp logo on the bottom. And that. So I'm going to open this guy up. I'm so excited. Oh. OK. Let me go up there. So this is just the cast and crew of the people, I guess, who created it. And boom, there he is. Not much going on there. He's down like this. All right. So let's get him out of the box, see what he comes with. OK. All right. Didn't expect that. He comes with this backdrop of him shrinking. That's interesting. It's not going to be up there with him, but I guess this is the these are the two pieces to hold it up. It's pretty cool. All right, and over there. Now the figure. Let's see what the figure comes with first before I get to the figure comes with the building that is way too bright right now. That's even worse. So it comes with the building. And the wheels do roll. Um, all this stuff on top is rubbery. And this piece only comes out to slide out because it comes with an extendable piece. So they could drag it. Whee! So there's that. Put this off to the side. All right. Um, guess these are batteries for the lights on something. Okay. These are extra joint pieces. It's not focusing well, but those are extra joint pieces. Okay. Comes with. A few hands, maybe I'll put these and do these separately. Fingers are kind of rubbery, so they're not going to be all brittle and stuff. What is this? What is this? This is a piece of plastic I, that's holding. Ooh, he's super tiny. Look at that. He is super tiny. Interesting. Cool. And he comes with one 
that makes things bigger and one that makes things smaller. More plastic. It comes with an extension piece that goes on the, I guess, the back of his neck for when he's got um, his face sculpt on. And here's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see the Paul Redhead. So here is this Ant-Man's Paul Rudd face sculpt. And I read about this, and yeah, the teeth are a little weird. Because the teeth are not in. They kind of flush. <laughs> so, so it does look a little funny. Um, but... Looks a good amount like Paul Rudd, I would I would say. Hair sculpt is very nice. Um, yeah. Now the figure. The figure itself. He even comes with a cape. Look at that. Lots of plastic to un to take off. Little pieces of foam. I'm gonna get out uh, my X-Acto blade and just kind of cut off some of this very carefully because I don't want to affect the figure. Took off his hand. Cool. Good job, Tom. Okay. Man, in, in hand, this guy's beautiful. I mean, Paul Rudd's a beautiful guy. But I mean, the figure is beautiful. And part of the reason... Part of, of the things I don't like about making videos is having to edit. So I'm not going to be editing this. I'm just going to let you guys deal with all the silence. And you're going to have to deal with it because I'm making you deal with it. All right. What else does he come with? The stand and the pieces for the stand, but let's take a look at the stand. Ooh, okay, so it's kind of textured. The edges are a little sticky. It's like part of the adhesive is still there, so that's a little quality control issue. I feel like I could like rip it off. That's it's like overhanging, so it's all it's all sticky. The Scott Lang right there. All right, uh, that should be it for the box. So I'll put the box to the side. And now we can take a look at the figure itself. So let me take a look at the figure. Oh yeah, so his battery's going his head right there. I feel like that. I guess it's fine. I don't know, it came off really easily for me, so I guess it's, yeah, it's magnetized, no? Interesting. Anyway, um, so it's a nice texture. This is Velcroed on, interesting. Mm -hmm. He can get about here for his arm. If you push it up, I can't get much much higher than that. Um, he's got some ab crunch. He's got a little bit of side to side movement, but it kind of like 
pushes back because of the, just the texture. Um, I guess that's as far as he kicks forward, but I don't think Scott Lang does much of that. It's about as much as he goes back. Uh, the belt is loose, floaty. Wish it would focus better. I'm sorry about that. Um, he's got, okay, so his boot is just one piece. And it doesn't have much side to side motion. Oh, I guess it does. I guess it has a little bit more than I thought it would. It's weird. It's one piece, but they have it like a separated up here. Well, wow. I'm sorry about all this horrible focusing. I haven't made a video in a while. Leave you alone. That's not bad. Um, this is not Velcro. It looks. This is actually, I guess, glued on. Oh, it, it's it's a little slit in there, in the the knee. I have to uh, <laughs> I have to do it symmetrically. So if I did that on the one side, I gotta do it on the other. And let's see. The head sculpt, you could, oh, it's so cool. You could see his eyes in there. That's awesome. It's a side profile. That's really cool. Man, he's, he's nice. I like him. Um, you can get about here going forward with it. And it's a little scary. You do any sort of tuck in it, it pulls back, but he does have a butterfly joint in here. And his elbows don't have too much of a problem. But this is the same as the kneecaps right here. gonna fight you and I want to see how he looks with the Scott Lang head sculpt on so let's see let's pull off the head I'm afraid to do this because I don't know how much that's eh, not bad and I think we gotta put this piece on like this am I mistaken Oh, oh, it just went in. It just went in. There we go. So that piece is in. And then, there he is with the Scott Lang head sculpt on. The, I can tell he's going to have a hard time standing, isn't he? The hands that he comes with are his button pressing hand. Very nice sheen to the, uh, to pretty much all the metallic parts of this figure. I think it looks really nice. And he's got two open hands. I have no idea how I'm going to display him yet. It's definitely going to be displayed with the mask because everybody else has their mask on, even though I really love the Scott Lang head sculpt. What I want to do, what I want to do is I want to get um, a whole bunch of like hot toy, hot toy esque figures online like eBay or something just like civilian clothes and use all the head sculpts because I have his head sculpt and I have um, Peter Parker's head sculpt 
Tom Holland's. And I don't want to uh, just kind of let them go to waste because right now they're just kind of they're just kind of sitting there and it just looks weird, dismembered heads on my shelf. <laughs> so yeah, but man, I really I really enjoy this. Uh, while this is off, let's take a look at this. So this is the on-off switch. Uh, kind of battery. You know, kind of see if that that focuses. All right. So it's just a Phillips head. Let's see. Do I have something for that in, in here? I really hope I did. I'm pretty sure I do. The question is, how far back? in my drawer is the screwdriver. Sorry for all the noise. I'm trying to find... There it is. No, it's just a... No, you know what? It works. I think. I think it works. Come on. Man, this the cap's not coming off. There we go. There we go. All right. So what do you think? You think I could do this on first try? Get all of these these batteries in there? I think I'm gonna fail. I think the batteries are gonna go all over. Why is this so tight? There we go. All right, let's do this. I have no idea which way they're supposed to go. Man, like this is, I don't like these. I hate trying to put these in. Come on, come on. You could do it. The last one. You're just the last one. All right, and all right. So let me turn this light off. That's actually really cool. Wow. really cool I really wish that these batteries lasted forever because I would have my Iron Man lights on at all times if they lasted forever but unfortunately batteries die so I can't keep the lights on this looks a lot cooler in person than it does on this camera. Just like it looks so orange on on the on the video, but it's really red and really cool in person. I, I wish you could see the colors like it's supposed to look. Kind of looks like Darth Vader there. <laughs> All right, so one last thing, I'm gonna put. The Ant Man mask back on with the light on. And let's put this button clicky hand on. Got the button clicky. I have no idea what pose I'm gonna put him in, but I would um, I would put it at the end of the video. But I don't want to. I just really don't want to uh, edit anything, so I'm not going to. But I just want to go over. I don't know if I 
guess I, I guess I didn't really go into the details, but I love this outfit. I love how it's got like it looks like it's an ant. This has got to go down here. I have to fiddle with this before I put it up on my shelf. But all of the details on here are just phenomenal. This is back. There are his legs. He's so good. I, lo I love this. I, re I really enjoy this. I, I should have done his head articulation. This is how far he looks up. And this is how far he can look down. And is his neck on a joint? His neck is not on a joint. It's sort of on a joint, but you can't really get it to do anything because of how thick this is. So that's as far as he can look down. That's as far as he can look up. He's got pretty good side to side. And you could break his neck. <clears throat> so overall, I think this is a fantastic figure. I'm sure I'm going to have trouble getting him standing because of those boots. But, uh, yeah. I'm excited to put him up there. You have no idea. I've been waiting to get this figure. And now I have him. He's mine, and he's going to go up there with his brothers. Sooner or later, he's going to have a sister to go along with him. So thank you for watching me ramble for 20 minutes about a 1-6 scale action figure that I'm going to put on my shelf right after this. Um, just to note, he doesn't have any hands to hold this, and you can't make him hold it with this that I could tell. Uh, I guess you can, kind of. It doesn't go in the hand fully. So he's kind of holding it sideways. You can't get it to go under here because there's there's no crease there. So Otherwise it's just an open... <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And this thing's a little annoying to get out, but yeah. So the building with the air duct now, Ant-Man, and me. So just for a um, you know what? This is what I'm gonna do for the the thumbnail image, right? So that's my thumbnail image. You guys had I hope you guys had fun watching me do that. <laughs> here's here's the mini Ant-Man again. Uh yeah. This is actually pretty detailed, to be honest. In and of itself, this is pretty detailed. Yeah, so I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day and night depending on what time you're watching this if you're watching this at all and uh, you'll see me next time